Uh, thank you very much for letting me attend this meeting and for inviting Senator Ash on and letting others of us uh, hear what he had to say on that on this issue. Um, I want to uh, just express an opinion, and I think it's an opinion that I've been expressing consistently, uh, and I'll try to make this brief because I, I know you have better things to do. Um, he has laid out uh, an idea that we need an extensive study process of the colleges before, essentially before there can be firm commitments to restoring funding. Um, I strongly oppose this idea uh, on the following grounds. Um, in fact, our state colleges, NVU and VTC, are actually very efficient institutions already. And if there's a long extensive study process, I have it on fairly good information from people inside the administrations of these institutions that they will likely collapse by December um, due to the loss of confidence um, amongst parents and students, um, both in uh, students we would be able to otherwise recruit and students that we would be able to retain. Uh, this, this closure proposal has deeply, deeply shaken the confidence, and it's not only, not only that, it has become regionally known in states where we attract out-of-state students. And it will be very hard for parents and students to want to commit to an institution that does not have a clear financial path going forward. Secondly, the fundamental problem we have is um, the low level of state funding. And the Senator didn't mention it, but I wanna make sure people know what that number is. We are only funded at the 17% level. Almost every state in the union is funded in at the 35 to 75% level. This requires us to uh, uh, charge higher tuition than we otherwise would. That's part of our enrollment problem and part of our retention problem right there. We have a lot of students we can't retain because they have to take semesters off or drop off to work jobs just to pay the high tuition. Um, so the notion we have of, uh, of re fundamental retention problems that have to be fixed without funding is actually also not correct. It's bas basically a false narrative. What, we believe, what I believe we need to do as a, as a body, as a community, is we need to urge the legislature to commit now to restoring the, the percentage of funding up to at least about 35%. This is, note, note that this is not the absolute level of funding. The absolute level of funding can be adjusted as we deal with whatever enrollments we get. Uh, for, instance, for example, we have already downsized a great deal. and We've already realigned a lot of pro programs to take care of the dem demographic downturn. We do not have a big problem with demographic uh, uh, or enrollment issues right now. We can adjust to that. What we need is that the percentage of funding has to be minimally adequate and comparative with other states. So uh, my feeling about that is if we don't get that commitment um, within a few weeks, uh, we might as well throw in the towel. Uh, that, that has to happen. And uh, I am not seeing the Senator or other legislators uh, yet break through that glass ceiling and get past that narrative that we have got a big problem that they need to solve first. And I urge you all to, um, to focus on that as the, as the major step now to saving these institutions. Thank you. Thank you, Ben.